Hi everyone. I was recently invited to create a piece to celebrate the beauty and culture of Japan. So I decided to sculpt this heron dancer. Um, the heron dance is performed twice a year in Japan on the grounds of Tokyo's oldest Buddhist temple. And the dance is called the Shirasagi no Mai or white heron dance. So I decided at the very last minute that as I was making this piece, I really should record it and make a video. But uh, as you can see, and you will see, I was completely unprepared for this. So I have a messy workspace. I've scooted myself next to a window. So the light's gonna change. There's a cup of tea that appears and disappears. <laughs> But I really wanted to capture this on video, you guys, so I'm just keeping it real for you. <laughs> I have a nice little collection of reference pictures, and I find this very important. I try to get some good shots, different angles, different lighting. Um, I want to be as accurate as I can be, especially if I'm representing a specific culture. So you'll notice that there's a ridge below her lips and that's because her headpiece is held on by a ribbon that actually is tied right below that lip. So I did want there to be a little indentation in the sculpture so that when that ribbon goes on there it really sits right under there like it's tied across her face. And now I'm gonna get my Edible Artist oil paints out and paint her face. I wanna give you a little tip. See this brush? This is a fan brush. 
When you're painting, if you're seeing brush strokes on your piece, you can lightly feather over them with that fan brush and it completely blends your brush strokes away. You can make a piece look like it's airbrushed. So I'm gonna put a link in my description to that brush and to some other brushes that I like to use. For areas like this, I go in with a small detailed brush and then I will use a slightly wider flat brush. That's called a filbert and I find that to be the easiest way to blend. Of course, you can use whatever brushes you're comfortable with. I'm using the slow diluter, so getting a little color on my brush, a little diluter, and that makes the paints beautifully blendable. There's a little bit of shine, as you can see, on the face, but that's just because the diluter and the paints are still wet, but they will dry to a gorgeous matte finish, which I think perfectly represents the white makeup that she will be wearing. Here we are the next day. You can see that beautiful matte finish and her eyes will really stand out when I add a little bit of confectioner's glaze. And here's the finished piece. Her costuming is fondant. The roses on her headpiece are wafer paper and the heron is modeling chocolate just like her face. And once I completed the piece and had it photographed, I got out my Edible Artist oil paints and I had a little fun. So of course I made a video of this and if you will hit the subscribe button here on YouTube, you'll be one of the first to know when I post it. And thanks for watching.